Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So how to get the gap between your legs. Put your, put your legs together, show us what the gap means. Try, can you close them together? No. That's, that's what you got? That's the gap. Turn around, show us what, what looks on behind. Ooh. Yes, master. Not bad, not bad. Show us that stomach again. Just to show the viewers in case they forgot. Okay, so you just come back off the, off the plane, you haven't slept for 48 hours probably. But what's the gap? It's tips. If you've got 30 seconds left, what's the tip? Get the gap. Um, reduce the salt. you definitely got to get the salt out of your diet or reduce as much as you can because salt retains about 100 times its weight in water. So that's going to puff you out and it's going to make your thighs like squeeze together. Um, Water, drink a lot of water. Make sure you're having like three liters. I recommend three liters at least per day. So that's three quarts? Yeah. Um, eat well, fruits and veggies raw. Like, if that's the optimal way to do it. Seriously, like, for me, the gap is more prominent when I'm eating 100% raw fruits and greens. So, like, fruitarian? That's just it. Yep. Because the carbs, the cooked carbs, still may, you know. So, salt, because we generally have rice yeah, and salt with it. People have salt. When they have cooked carbs. So. Mm. so salt is a bit, of, a bit of an issue. And animal products as well affect women's hormones and make you store more fluid. You found that? Yeah, definitely. And if you're on the pill or something as well. Yep. Yeah, animal products and the pill, no, no, if you want the gap. There you go. Thanks for that. <laughs> bye bye, little guys.